Hey guys, Brian Beeler coming to you from the Storage View Lab. We've got another new toy in today uh, that we're working on for review. I've already cheated ahead and taken it out and we've done a little work with it already, so you're not gonna get the big knife reveal. Actually, if you want though, I'll just get it out and we can pretend like I opened the box with our box cutter and the big reveal and here it is. We've got the Crucial by Micron, little teeny tiny Micron branding. X8, this is a one terabyte portable SSD. Uh, they've got a 500 gig as well. So let's just set the scene a little bit. Micron is the big company, the NAND producer. Crucial's a brand of Micron that puts together packaged goods like this, uh, like end user um, SSDs, that sort of thing. Micron makes all the NAND, and then they'll do more of the enterprise business, the DRAM, the enterprise SSDs, that sort of thing. Uh, so Micron, we certainly know, and they're one of the biggest and best NAND producers in, in the world. And then Crucial makes, um, makes the product. So this is the first, though, portable SSD to come out of the Micron umbrella. It's kind of an interesting spot, too. The X8 was, well, they launched it in October of last year, so it's, uh, it's been coming for a little while. But it fills a really interesting void in the portable SSD market. So right now we've got, uh, let's see, what do we have sitting around here? We've got uh, like the Samsung T5, the Seagate drive. Uh, oh, this GTEC, we just reviewed this. These are all SATA drives. And so they're gonna provide, regardless of the connection, some of these are USB-C, some might be a little older and use uh, the, the traditional USB port to connect to the computer, but they're all SATA. And they're all going to deliver about, well, best case scenario, about 500 megabytes per second read. The X8, for its part, quotes 1050 megabytes per second. So there's an interesting dynamic here. It's got an NVMe drive inside, which will, that's why it can hit that, that higher speed. Um, but it's also not as fast as some of the high-end NVMe drives. So, so far, we've seen sort of two lanes in the portable SSD market. We've seen SATA, which is more affordable, uh, that's gonna hit those price points uh, that, that make it easy to pick up for professionals and, and, uh, and people that need secure file storage and something with no moving parts that's durable, droppable, that sort of thing, compared to a hard drive. Uh, but again, value focused for SSDs. Then we've had the NVMe class portable SSDs, and those have been typically about performance. So the GTEC SSD Pro we just looked at, Samsung's done a number of them, the X5 being the most recent. Now those guys are gonna deliver tremendous performance, in some cases, well over 2,000 megabytes per second. So twice as fast on the box as this guy, but this guy is roughly twice as fast as a SATA drive. Probably what we will see is as everyone refreshes and comes to market with new products, this will be the new entry level. Uh, being an NVMe drive that is price optimized. So that's one of the things we talk about a lot uh, on the site and, and with people as we communicate, is that NVMe is often associated with high performance. And while it typically is high performing, NVMe itself doesn't mean much. Think of it like, you know, I've got a car. My car can go fast, it can go slow, uh, but it's still a car. So this is a car, that's a car, the Samsung X5 is a car but they're all different types of cars that are doing different things. So anyway, this is going to be probably the new normal as the other drive competitors catch up and develop a, a, a more value optimized NVMe line because SATA, there's no development plan forward for SATA. And eventually these guys will get competed out of the marketplace because Crucial is gonna come in or is coming in with a highly aggressive price point uh, for the terabyte and for the 500 gig drives that make it pretty equal to the SATA drives that are out there, or in some cases a touch more, uh, but with twice the performance. So that's all good. Uh, what we will do though, just to see what that performance looks like, is hook it up to uh, the MacBook Air connected to the monitor here and show you what it's capable of. All right, so we're gonna do a quick performance check on the Crucial X8, just see what it's capable of. Uh, we're going to use Blackmagic uh, Disk Speed Test on a uh, MacBook Air. So I'll go ahead and plug it in and uh, get it operational. Now, it's important to remember that they're quoting uh, 1,050 megabytes per second. That's going to be best case scenario. 
Uh, so we'll see a little bit less than that through the OS and everything else that's in the way. But again, that's still going to be at least twice as fast. Well, we'll see what it comes out at, but should be about twice as fast as what any of these SATA based drives are capable of. So when we think about this category, it's going to be important to compare the price of the X8 to the price of SATA drives. And what we've seen right now is that they're pretty similar, but that changes and, and is fluid, uh, at least at this one terabyte price point. So price being equal, or even if Crucial is a little bit more expensive on the X8 for what should be double the performance, that's a pretty good uh, bit of money well spent. But just on the other hand, you know, let's just make sure that we remember that uh, the NVMe drives that are using Thunderbolt 3 are going to be an order of magnitude faster, more than twice as fast in the, in the best case scenario uh, than what the X8 is going to do. Now, of course, those drives will be more expensive, so it's a trade-off of what do you want. So we'll let this thing get started and out of the gate we're seeing uh, over 900 megabytes per second on right and we should be 950 or so, okay 930 on, uh, on read. That's a pretty good starting point so we've only trimmed off on the read side about 100 megabytes per second on what the, uh, what the box is and in best case scenario I think they use crystal disk mark on a high-end PC to get that number and that's fine. It's, uh, uh, it's important to be able to sh show what you can get at the top end, if we're looking at the check marks here for Black Magic, we're just losing four in the, the lower right, right hand quadrant. So it's going to be a great drive performance wise, price wise. I mean, there's, there's really nothing um, that's, that's problematic with it. The design ID is a little plain, but you know, what, what do you want? It's storage, it's portable. It may not be necessarily as you know, visually engaging as, as the GTEC perhaps, or as narrow and uh, small and thin with fingerprint like the uh, uh, the T7 touch, but again, it's uh, it's utilitarian, which is fine. It's going to give you great performance, which is which is really what we're about. And the price is uh, uh, fair from what we can tell, given current pricing conditions on Amazon and other retailers. Uh, if we're going to complain much, the uh, quoted drop of seven and a half feet is uh, a little suspect because it only means onto carpet and it only means data protection, not enclosure protection. So that spec's a little silly to me. Um, any of these drives should be able to survive a seven and a half foot drop without losing data. That doesn't seem uh, real special, but again, for the office user that's maybe a touch careless that drops their iPhone, this thing's gonna take a drop and survive. There's not really anything to worry about there. Um, but uh, otherwise, We'll uh, keep cranking on this and uh, we're actually going to have this review out very, very soon. So and normally I tell you a couple weeks, this one's going to be probably tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Uh, StorageReview.com will have that full review up shortly. Thanks for tuning in.